The journey of STPI is synonymous with the evolution of the IT industry in India. Nevertheless, the beginning of this stupendous journey was quite modest and sobering. When few Indian IT companies had started their operations in the early 80s, the environment for the growth of the IT industry was not conducive. High import duties on computer hardware and software, requirement of licenses, and absence of a national policy for IT were the major bottlenecks for companies to succeed in this industry. Lack of proper infrastructure, difficulty in import of computers, servers, and other necessary hardware were the major roadblocks for companies to execute their offshore development programs, while onshoring was consummated by the Indian talent. In the mid-80s, few visionaries like MGK Menon, KPP Nambiar, and Narasimya Sheshagiri in India saw the opportunities of growth and huge potential for job creation in IT sector through software services and outsourcing. Subsequently, they created the frameworks for the legal, operational and business processes involved in it. Eventually, they put forward a strategy in 1986 for the promotion of software development and exports, which was published in the Gazette of India. In fact, entire nation is grateful to those visionaries, planners, from the, depart the then Department of Electronics who could conceive such a wonderful outstanding scheme and could create such an enabling environment where we could capitalize on those emerging opportunities and could create such a vast IT industry which has made India an IT superpower. In fact, uh, it's a very amazing success story that has been created uh, because of a proactive vision proactive policy decision and by implementing those decisions and vision in a very very disciplined and very very effective manner uh, in stpi we must uh, uh, remember those people who could create such a vibrant it industry and such a vibrant stpi as an organization which is the most successful single window clearance system in the entire country Consequently, three software technology parks at Bhuvaneshwar, Bengaluru and Pune were created in 1989. The first major IT reform by the Indian government was the creation of Software Technology Parks of India in 1991, in which all the three STPs were merged to create a single entity. STPI was henceforth nurtured, empowered and strengthened by N. Vittu, the then Secretary of Department of Electronics in 1991. STPI was created as a nodal agency to promote software development, hardware manufacturing and export of both. STPI provisioned physical infrastructure, single window clearance system, administration of tax breaks, easy import of necessary hardware including computers and servers and high speed data communication through satellite based internet gateways which helped the IT industry in seamlessly meeting their export obligations. These initiatives by STPI have played a pivotal role in the phenomenal growth of the IT and ITS sector for boosting software exports. STPI was started with two objectives. First was to decentralize decision making, which till then was taking place in Delhi and the belief was that by decentralizing the government would be reducing friction to business for software companies. The second objective was to provide a robust data communication facility using satellite technology. I must say that this idea of Mr. N. Whittle who was then the Secretary of the Department of Electronics took off like wildfire, it added extraordinary value to the software industry and I would say that one of the main reasons why the software industry took off in 1991-92 and has reached the levels that it has in becoming uh, the, in, in, in India becoming the software center of the world is primarily due to the software technology park model that was designed by the then Department of Electronics and continued by the Ministry of uh, Information Technology. I am very, very grateful to STPI for all the wonderful policies that they have put in place and everybody in the software industry in India must be very, very grateful to them. Entrepreneurship 
is extremely important in translating ideas into wealth and in creating jobs. Of course, these are, as everybody knows, extremely important for the progress of a country like India. That is where I believe uh, the new projects at SDPI in helping entrepreneurs incubate their ideas and creating intellectual property is going to be extremely useful for the country. I wish STPI the best of success in this venture too. Software Technology Parks of India has played a very critical role in the development of the Indian software export industry. From the time they were started in 1991, they've had a phenomenal impact. As a result of STPI, all companies, big and small, were able to create their own infrastructure. There was one single point where they could get all their approvals, all their clearances, and consequently, the Indian IT industry was able to invest in its growth by building its own infrastructure, which became world class. And if we look back at the records, we would see that that is a time when the Indian IT industry began to really take off and accelerate its growth. The best thing about STPI was that it worked in close partnership with industry. In virtually all of the STPI leadership understood what the issues were. Industry and STPI sat closely, worked together, and as a result, all government policies, rules, regulations were observed without slowing down the pace at which industry could grow. If it hadn't been for the establishment of STPI, I do not think that the Indian IT industry would have crossed $100 billion today. Uh, it was very visionary leadership from the Ministry of IT at that time and from NASCOM, which was a software industry body to work together and architect a new scheme that virtually built our entire industry from scratch. Today, when we have crossed $100 billion, the role of STPI can be different. And I'm really delighted that STPI today, the Ministry of IT today, is looking at transforming STPI into a vehicle that will encourage entrepreneurship in the country by looking at incubation, by looking at other forms of support, training, etc. that can be done. Today, all of the investment that was made in infrastructure, in people, in government officers who understand the industry can be leveraged for what is the need of the hour. More entrepreneurs building products uh, an area that now needs more growth as the services industry has become mature and I for one really look forward to STPI playing a critical role in its new avatar in the same way that it played in the old times when the industry got established. I feel very delighted uh, to speak about uh, STPI because my journey as an entrepreneur started uh, with the uh, launching of uh, the STPI scheme by Government of India. When I read about STPI scheme, I felt so excited. I said, I should become an entrepreneur. And truly, they lived to whatever they said under that particular scheme. The first and the foremost they talked about is decentralization, uh, so that you know uh, people like me, who were then in a very startup mode, did not make many trips to uh, New Delhi to get our paperwork done. And the second one was, the scheme was uh, envisaged in such a way that we could import everything um, from abroad if we did software exports with zero percent duty. And the third one, which is also equally important, was the ability to have data communication links. Coupled with the STPI scheme, I think the government of India did something very smart, and that could be one reason why STPI scheme became also extremely successful. They launched something called the income tax benefit under a scheme called the 10A 10B benefit, uh, which effectively meant that if you're doing export business, all your uh, profits were exempt for any tax. It was zero tax that was there. I think these are the things which made STPI uh, very successful in the initial period. It continues to do good work even now. 
uh, as uh, things change, as we see the whole world uh, getting into uh, product mode, the digital mode, uh, there are a number of initiatives that the STPI scheme has launched in the recent past. Now they have a national um, software product policy with which they are encouraging um, industry to develop more amount of products. They are also now setting up centers of excellence across the country in leading edge new digital technologies, whether it's AI, it is IoT, it is blockchain and so on and so forth. I think these technology initiatives from STPI will encourage new entrepreneurs to ensure that they will probably focus themselves. So therefore again, let me conclude by saying uh, STP has done a great job, continues to do a great job and I wish them all success in future too. Thank you. For the last two decades, STPI has been serving the software exporters through its unique single window clearance system. Speedy approvals by STPI, coupled with other promotional services to the IT industry, have attracted a number of entrepreneurs to venture into IT arena. Many of such entrepreneurs have established themselves as global IT majors. 
we are now regarded as most preferred IT destination. The IT industry in the country has matured enough to venture into R&D and IPR development. A need is also being felt to disperse the IT industry to smaller towns for balanced regional growth. In this regard, government is taking initiatives and STPI is set to play a vital role to take the IT industry to the next level during this decade.